263,988. Amen. Hi guys, welcome to the village. My name is Bonnie. I create content around careers, education with a dose of reality check. Today, guys, my main focus, my, my main, the main focus of this video is going to be around someone who did masters in electrical engineering. I know I have never published a payslip of someone who who did BEng in electrical engineering, uh, let alone masters in electrical engineering. That's the main focus of this video. But of course, I can't just post one payslip, so I had to put other electrical engineering payslips. Uh, some of them uh, you might have seen them before. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna do that. There's an auto electrician, and then there's an electrical and engineering control and instrumentation and then there's also going to be a director someone with electrical engineering but now they work at a director level okay because guys the video will be boring if there's just <laughs> if there's just one pay slip but let's quickly look at an auto electrician uh, i've been working for three years as an auto electrician uh, from high school i did n3 uh, electrical engineering followed by four years of apprenticeship all right uh so that's uh, roughly when you count the apprenticeship uh, period uh, that's roughly seven years and they work in a mine chase paints galo i i can tell already okay basic salary thirty-seven thousand nine hundred and forty-eight. housing allowance 8,131 Provident allowance, 3,794. Fixed remuner remuneration, 54,211. Cash component, 38,896. Okay. Overtime, 18,000. Bonus, 1,700. Total earnings, 59,200. Okay. Mm. Okay, I don't understand here because it says fixed remuneration fifty four thousand, and then there is overtime of eighteen thousand. Then that brings the cross to fifty nine. Okay, I'm a bit confused, but it says here total earnings fifty nine thousand, and then a pay of forty one thousand seven hundred and ten. There's someone who is an auto electrician, and they work in a mine. Okay. Now let's look at, oh, this one is an intern actually, um, but I'm not going to show their whole payslip uh, for some reasons. And so here is proof for those who are saying uh, no intern can earn uh, more than 20,000. I did a diploma in control and instrumentation in brackets like current. I'm currently working as a intern. Okay, so their undergrad is electrical engineering bracket instrumentation. So let's see their total earnings. This payslip had uh, over time. So let me just share with you the basics, but I'm not going to show the whole payslip. Uh, basic salary, 25315 And then there's a lot of overtime and other allowances. That brings it to a total earnings of 44000 Total deductions, 10153 and in a pay of 34,765. Okay. <laughs> That's an intern, no That's an intern, no Now let's look at an electrician director. Guys, please like and share this video with someone that might need it. Uh, in case you're wondering why are all YouTubers always saying you should like the video, um it's because it will show youtube that the video has value and then youtube tends to show it to more people so that's how you can um support your favorite creator by making sure that you like the video okay because i'm sure most of the time you find value in the video that's why you're watching it <laughs> okay guys um hi bonnie i i did a electrician i'm an electrician with entry and a trade test, I've been working for 17 years at this company, was promoted to a director last year. Basic salary before promotion was 
Okay, so remember the director, but they say even before they became a director, their basic salary was 81,000 with entry and a trade set, but 17 years of experience. Okay, so we need to be wary of that. Basic salary. 122,790 uh, and then allowances 9,800 which is medical aid and retirement annuity deductions 51,306 mm, okay where's the where's the net I can't see the net pay Okay, but anyway, 122 minus 51,306, that will give us the net pay. Alrighty. <laughs> Just pay. It. Hey, I'm an artisan guide. Guys, I haven't received, um, well, not that I haven't received, but um, I, I just need new pay slips of artisans. I, I beg you. I need new pay slips of artisans. Uh, yeah. Let there be chest pains, guys. Let there be chest pains. Okay. Hi, Bonnie. Um, here are my qualifications. National Diploma in Electrical Engineering. Uh, and then it says Dash Control and Instrumentation from UJ, which is the University of Johannesburg. BTEC in Electrical Engineering from UJ. Masters. Um engineering um in masters in electrical and electronics engineering from beth okay so he says for this role you don't need a master's degree okay but he just has it for control <laughs> because he wants to <laughs> okay but i'm sure it will help him later in management and stuff I, I don't know i don't know why am i even commenting so they are a control systems engineer with 16 years of experience they worked in mining they worked in in petrol chemical and currently in the data center industry okay i'm a high bid worker based in south africa but travel frequently uh, to the uae uh, dubai myself and the family relocated to dubai in january 2020 but uh, returned back home in june 2022 after my wife got um a job in south africa you know so they converted to hybrid financially this was a good decision as the cost of living in dubai is quite high for the salary i'm receiving i work remotely and travel to dubai for three uh, for three weeks every second month or longer depending on the business request Com company offers one return flight per quarter which helps my regular travel. Since Dubai is tax-free, I only pay tax in South Africa as per new uh, foreign income tax law. Uh, and then I get a tax consultant to help me with my tax returns every year. First 1.2 a million of uh, foreign income gets exempted by SARS under section 10. Oh, I, 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 guy knows his thing. Guys, I always get questions um, from people about how do people manage to pay tax. Guys, you pay provisional tax, you know. I've worked as an independent contractor for a UK company, but I was working here in South Africa. I was paying provisional tax. You get your, 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 your tax consultant to do your taxes for you. Uh, just pay the tax consultant, guys. That's what you need to do. You know, it doesn't need to be that complicated. Okay, and then they can see. <laughs> All right, let's see what the salary is. Basic salary is twenty five thousand six hundred and twenty two AED. Uh, that's their money. Uh, housing and transport allowance nine thousand AED. Medical insurance three thousand one hundred AED. Um. FA allowance 4600 AED, sign on bonus 1800 AED, cell phone and internet allowance is 7000 
271. And then the social security employee, um, I don't know, this is a minus, as I think something that is deducted. And then the social security employer, high bid in brackets, uh, 950 AED. Gro gross salary is 51,500, deductions uh, 316, and a net pay of 51,190. The gross comes to 263,988. Amen. You know, I'm happy because they live in South Africa. So I really think, guys, it's a good deal. And of course, they still need to work with the tax consultant and, 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 you know. Uh, but guys, I think this is a good deal. Please like this video if you find value as I've explained earlier how liking a video helps me as a creator and other creators on YouTube. Um, and let me know what other um, professionals do, would you like me to interview or just feature them on the payslip series. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.